Yeah, Shalom. Um, but this is a continuation, Deuteronomy 32 and 15. Um, but Judah waxed fat and kicked. Thou art waxing fat. Thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with the fatness. Then he, f then he forsook, then he forsook Yahweh, which made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. Well, so we disrespected, you know, the heavenly Father and the Son. You know, that's why we're catching this hell. You know, because we were we, we were nobles, man. You know, we were living fat. You know, we were fighting war. You know, like you know, prior to slavery. You know, so-called the transatlantic slave trade, and uh, not just uh, the transatlantic slave trade through all the uh, North Central South America. There's a slave trade right now. You know, in uh, certain parts of Africa. You know, and uh, through India. You know, anywhere our people are were scattered, man. Um, you know, there was a whole transatlantic slave trade, man. You know, and that's in the, the curses that were under. You know, but um, I'm gonna keep building off this. Um, says uh, the Jews and the Moors in Spain, the exiled Jews returned to their country, and the and the baptize and uh, the baptize that to their cherished faith, for their for the arab moors tolerated both the hebrew people and their faith moors and jews jews skills and industry and the intellig and the intelligence united and united they became and they manipulated that distincted for many centuries the most the most prosperous and intelligent people of Europe at that time when the rest of Europe was in was numbered into the death like like uh like Todor. You know, that's pretty much it. But you know, we were uh we were, you know, you know, noble man, we were very affluent. You know, we had uh you know, like a monopoly. We also had um, you know, a lot of uh knowledge you know, uh, plants, you know, science, you know, we also had uh, universities like University of Oxford, Cambridge, throughout, um, you know, Europe, you know, and, um, you know, we were uh, men of higher learning, man, and uh, we, we instilled a lot of knowledge, you know, to uh, these nations, man, you know. And, uh, you know, that, that's why we're such in a low estate. The Golden Age of the Moor. This is a, a good book. You know, this is uh, Golden Age of the Moor by, written by Ivan Sergema. But when the one, one, uh, but when one talks about the Moor and Jews in the context of the transition, uh, the transitional period between the rise of the Spanish power and the final defeat, of the f former and the expulsion of both one must bear in mind that neither the term more or nor jew refers to a uniform racial type they were both the product of like a polygamy racial mixture in north africa and spain only their culture and religion trapped would have um enable an outside an outsider to distinguish one from another right so we were in you know interbreeding right because the moors you know they had uh you know that whole barbarian uh slave slavery right because a lot of edomites and as well as um a lot of the jews who were not gonna um you know who weren't gonna you know submit to that whole islam you know um a lot of our people that were uh, made subject or if they didn't want to subject if they weren't subject to islam you know that like they had to be subject to the whole catholicism all right so that's why a lot of our people become crypto jews 
some of them became crypto Muslims you know but um, you know this is um, you know this is a picture of you know Columbus you know this is the actual you know how Columbus looked because these are all the men that was on the ship you know because uh, you know because these were Templars right and um, they were navigators men of the sea so they came to the Americas um, when you read about the order of Santiago and all that they came here to the Americas you know, and they established, uh, you know, New Spain, you know, uh, Hispaniola, you know, um, throughout Central South America, you know. It says, um, the crypto Jew, Marano, you know, so it's recognized, uh, according to the hypnosis, or the hypnosis, uh, the, or the, or the hip the hypothesis the uh, gesture was a secret sign used to recognize a crypto jew you know or you know like this is what these guys do because uh these sign you know that sign was basically with the whole uh you know like they were involved in the whole uh freemasonry that they're those orders right you know uh it said marano um Crypto Judaism in secret authority to Judaism while publicly professed to be an, another be uh, another faith practicing or refuse to be a crypto Jew, you know, because uh, you know we because you know you know we had the Edomites in slavery, man, and ultimately uh, you know we uh, civilized you guys. We taught you to ref you know. You know our uh, laws you know being jews you know and um you know and some of our people they were muslims all right they were under the whole muhammadan reign and they basically um you know so like like that's why the whole ottoman turks because basically um you know constantinople fell you know like 1453 so a lot of um the Christians, you know, like they were uh, made subject unto these uh, Ottoman Turks, All right? So uh, that's when like uh, started, you know, Esau started rising to power, and um, you know, I'm gonna play this. So uh, let me turn up this. Should have only embrace one cult. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, and it's not even a culture. It's not really an identity because it, it always equates to chains and bondage and all that. When Columbus himself was surrounded by Morenos, like you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah. If you look to his right. He had Pedro Alonso Nino, who was actually navigating the boat. You look to his, his left. You had um, Juan Prieto. Mm -hmm. You look to his. Diego, his assistant, you know what I'm saying? So it would be like him, like, it would be like Eminem, like the only white dude in the crowd, like, you know what I'm saying? So, so some people that, say he was mulatto himself. So so at what point are we going to go from that to now everybody dark skin was in chains? Yeah. Which one is yeah. it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. of so, course they want you to... Yeah, so, you know, so a lot of things that we learned, you know, about Columbus and certain history... You know, Esau no, Esau lied. You know, we were we were here. You know, prior to you, um, you know, coming to your power. You know, you know, we had you, uh, you devils as well. You know, in uh, on the ships too, right? And as well as our people, because a lot of our people were involved in the slave trade, man. You know, that's why, uh, you know, our people live in fat, man. Look at this. Uh, you know, um, that actor, uh, Elba, something Elba, you know, um, you know, his lineage, you know, that goes back to the Moors or the, Sic or, you know, Sicilians, you know, of, uh, you know, Sardinia, you know, um, like the Corisco, you know, um, it says Afro ancestry, 
All right, because you know our people were involved in the slave trade as well, man. You know, and there was uh, money, so uh, a lot of our our people sold out, and ultimately this was uh, set up, you know, by the heavenly Father, man. You know, because we fell. All right. You know that this guy's a Jake. He's uh, he was a, uh, you know, uh, like a a more. All right. He was uh, on like a chorus like a Carisco, right, um, over there in that region, right, um, I'm gonna have to probably do a part two, but let's go play this. <laughs> so-called uh, Hamite, which they're not Hamites, they're Israelites, right? And um, they're royalty, but a lot of our people were involved in uh, the whole uh, transatlantic uh, slave trade, man. You know, and uh, you know, ultimately we fell. You know, you could look at this guy, like this guy. This is like a little child and a little, uh, little child, little boy, little girl. It says a Yoruba name. You know, you watch that movie Coming to America. I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> you know, Coming to America one, Coming to American two. You know, there's a lot of our people that live in fat, man. That's why I do Rami 32, and um, it says that it says that just run wax fat, man. You know, cause um. You know, these are royalty, but our people were involved, played a major part in the slave trade. That's why when the Lord comes, you know, everyone's going to have to uh, give homage to the Lord, you know, you know, to uh, the Heavenly Father, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you know, the 12 and then the, the 144, man. So, uh, you know, but, you know, this is amazing, man. This is uh, the Moors after Spain. It's a book, uh, Stanley Lane Poole, The Golden Age of the Moor, written by Ivan Serma. That's a good book. The story, um, Moors in Spain, all right, a good one. This is, uh, is uh, you know, over there in uh, Ghana, one of the uh, one of the Ghanaian princes, you know. You know, so they're having wearing gold and you know, gold slippers and, you know, gold everything, man. You know, gold, um, you know, has a lot, of, you know, a righteous uh, element, man. You know, has many benefits. This is uh, Mansa Musa, you know, right on here on the right, you know. And, um, you know, there were Muslims, you know, who uh, you read about, you know, the whole Mansa Musa, man. And um, prior to, uh, you know, Mansa Musa, like, reigning, um, he, a lot of his, um, his men, you know, his, uh, his caravan, a lot of them came on ships to the Americas, you know, so, um, you see, this is, uh, so, you know, that's why I do Rami 28 and I believe, uh, Says that there, if I could find it, it's lucky. It's lucky what happened. What happened? It's lucky to my uh, after full. What happened here? So lucky. Just upload what happened there. Salakia, so some technical difficulties. This is Durami 32 and 16. They provoked him to jealousy with uh, strange gods, with abomination, provoking them, them, uh to anger they sacrifice unto devils not to yahweh to 
gods whom they knew not to the new god which they which they which uh came newly up right with the whole islam you know all uh shiva you know all these different deities that our people worship right and uh, a lot of blood sacrifice you know that our people are involved that's why the heavenly father he's gonna judge our people man all right because our people are uh they're prospering you know that's why it says that just round wax fat man you see like you know watch coming to america one and two i'm gonna put that in the description man we could watch it i'm gonna watch it this weekend man you know this is uh you know little son you know royalty you know wearing the fez you know you know this is uh nigerian uh boy he's a ro he's a he's like a king you know in uh, one of those states in nigeria you know, some of them practice in Islam. Some of them are Christians. You know, this is uh, King Oya, which is a new regiment as the twelfth ruler of Omega Omega Omo of the eight one hundred sixty year old kingdom of Toro in uganda so okay this is uganda you know and that's why they're trying to do uh this whole uh this whole alternate this alternate lifestyle what they're trying to do in kenya and uganda man because our people are, are royalty man we're scattered throughout you know east africa throughout uh south africa west africa you know this is a big diaspora you have uh you have the banto people you know um you know there's so many different you know there's so many israelites who scattered you know in throughout africa some of them are catching hell a lot of our people they're uh they're living fat man see wax fat that's wrong wax fat man see that he has his little son his wife you know See what I'm saying? And that's what we're gonna get in the kingdom, man. So these guys, they're they're already living fat, man. And um, when the Lord comes or whatever, man, there's gonna be a lot of taxation, man. You know, cause the elect are the first fruits, man. You know, this is King. Uh, no, this is uh, Michael Jackson. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, this like like look like a either bite. The, you know, and, you know, don't know if he's a either my jape but this guy you know is he wearing out gold you know and this is uh the queen elizabeth or not uh, like one of those um one of those uh kings in africa you know practicing islam you know thinking like nigeria this guy the emery of kano i think that's in uh Nigeria, this is uh, Ghana. You know, so you see, this? our people are living fat, man. You know, the king, chief, sultan, tradition, leaders of the African culture, Nigeria, kings, chief, you know. Because some of our people, um, a lot of our people, they come to the Americas, you know, a lot of them come to school. So, for, so, for so called better education, which is, you know, which is uh, off, you know, you really getting indoctrinated, but, you know, um, you know, what they're living fat, man. They provoked him with jealousy, with strange gods, with abomination, provoking him, they, they him to anger. They sacrificed unto the devil, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up of, of, the rock that begot they thou art on un, unmind unmindful and has forsaken Yahweh, you know that made thee and when the lord saw it he abhorred them because of the it, it says it said because they provoked of his sons and his daughters and he said i will i will hide my face from them and I will show 
so what their end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith, right? And that's why our people, they're stubborn, man. You know, and that's why we're catching hell. You know, we're at the bottom, especially over here in the West, you know, throughout America, Canada, you know, sent, you know, anywhere the tribes are scared, we're catching hell, man. You know, even though a lot of our people made covenant with death, you know, but you still can't escape, man. They have moved me with to jealousy with them that which is no God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them with jealousy. Yeah, that's why a lot of these, uh, they go to these so-called black churches throughout America, the Americas, throughout Africa. You know, they're worshiping Caesar, man. You know, they're, wor they're worshiping the so-called, on um, that Serapis Crispus, you know, which is uh, Isa, which is a uh, uh, Egyptian deity, you know, you know, um, that during the time of the Ptolemy reign, you know, and, uh, you know, that that's what our people is worshiping, man. They're provoking, you know, that they're worshiping the damn Edomites, man. And I will make them to, my, to jealousy with those which are not uh, people, and I will provoke them to anger with the foolish nation. For my fire is kindled in my anger, and thou shalt burn them unto the low lowest hell and shall consume the earth with 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 her increase and set on fire the foundation of the mountain so uh, yeah all you uh so-called uh you you uh israelite kings throughout africa and who live in fat man you know the elect man is gonna take that man you know and uh we're gonna set up proper order man you know on the righteousness man you know because uh, a lot of our people there, you know, our, you know, our people are involved in this whole, uh, this whole new world, this NWO too, man. You know, so uh, just that, that's the praise do unto you. How about Shemir Hashem, about Shemir Kadosh, the ones that are of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. Uh, shalom. Yeah.